All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises and all honor and all glory unto my power, Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Achakwadash. Yahweh is the true holy name of the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And the Rechakwadash is the Holy Spirit. In the ancient Paleo Hebrew tongue, I also want to give double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well and that teach well. I also want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men that are laboring and toiling in this work for the sake of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. And I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude, which consists of the men, women, and children who Yahweh Bashim Al Shai will show his mercy upon in these last days. And I'm the brother, Ma'ait Gabar, from the GMS West Palm Beach Church. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying unto Yahweh, Bashem El Shai, hope for elect. All right, in this lesson, I'm going to be reading from the book of Isaiah, the first chapter. Um, and the inspiration for this lesson uh, was reading uh, this chapter um, last night, you know, and, um, you know, just meditating upon it. You know, um, right now while I'm at work, you know, I just wanted to do this uh, lesson. You know, it's gonna be short. All right, I'm at work, but I just wanted to, um, you know, uh, read this really quick. This is Isaiah one and verse two, and it reads, "Hear, O ye heavens, and give ear, O earth, for Yahweh has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children; and they have rebelled against me." All right, and we are equated to Yahweh about Shemiah uh, woman. Real quick, let's get this. This is Jeremiah 6 and 2. For I have likened the daughter of Zion. All right, another word for Zion is Israel. All right, Zion means a memorial. All right, he says, I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. All right, and that's how the Heavenly Father, all right, it deals with the, with the nation of Israel, all right, with the children of Israel as a woman. All right, hey, what's first commandment, all right, thou shalt have no other God except me, all right, roughly paraphrasing, so the Lord uh, hates idolatry, all right, and just like how any righteous man hates when a, a woman commits adultery, all right, that's how the Heavenly Father feels, all right, your woman, you got a woman at the house, all right, she come home, a no, whole nother man is, is plowing her down, all right, she dealing with a whole nother man, and that's why the scripture says, the uh, the um, the rage of a man. I mean, the jealous of a woman is like a rage of a man. Uh, matter of fact, let me just get it. I know I said it wrong, but um, let's get this. Let's see. Yeah, this is um, in Proverbs six and thirty four. It says, "For jealousy." Is the rage of a man, therefore he would not spare in the day of vengeance, right? Hey, and uh, you know, Jake, right? We get jealous over our woman, all right? Your woman, you know, she's talking to another man, she's flirting with another man, she's dealing with another man, all right? So, how much more, yeah, how well about Shimmy? I was shy, all right? So, let's read this again. It's Isaiah 1 and 2. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, right? And the Lord, you know, he spiritually nourished us, all right, by giving us his truth, all right, giving us his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay? And what the book of Proverbs says, um, let me just get it real quick. That's Proverbs 4 and verse 4, and it reads, He taught me also and said unto me, Let thy anger I mean, let thy heart retain my words, keep my commandments and live, get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth, forsake her not, speaking about wisdom, and she shall preserve thee, love her, and she shall keep thee, all right, and this is what uh, spiritually uh, nourishes us, all right, because what the scripture says, when you wander out of the way of understanding, you remain in the congregation of the dead. All right, so us brothers that were turning back to Yahweh Bashem Al Shai and repented in truth and sincerity, all right, we're nourished spiritually. All right, hey, that's what Yahweh Shai said, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceedeth 
out of out of my mouth. All right, um, the book of uh, that Peter. All right, the book of Peter says, "As newborn babe, desire the sincere milk of the word, that you may grow thereby." So, applying these scriptures in, in your life. All right, having these scriptures, that's that's what uh, builds you up. All right, it's like a baby. A baby needs to get fed. All right, gotta have his milk. Okay, and, and after milk, you get uh, you get cereal. They start getting uh, fruits and veggies. All right, then they, he's able to eat that milk. All right, so this is that nourishment. All right, when we return back unto you, how about your mouth shy? And it says, and they have rebelled against me. Right, and Heavenly Father, all right, hates rebellion. All right, matter of fact, let's get that in the law. And this is um first Samuel uh fifteen and twenty-three. It says, For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry, right? And a a lot of our people, majority of our people, two thirds of our people are into witchcraft. It says stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry, right? Hey, that's why the Lord says, you know, our people are stiff stiff neck. Our people are hard headed. Here we are, we're telling you, you know, how to come back into the Yahweh Shema Shai. All right, we're telling you the names of the Father and the Son. We're telling you that he's a so-called black man, that he's about to come back and, and um, destroy this place. All right, that's why you need to repent, you know. You need to uh, come out of these Christian churches. But our people are stubborn, all right. It says, because thou has rejected the word of Yahweh, he have also rejected thee from being the king. All right, man, because it's going to be a great slaughtering here in these times to come, man. All right. Hey, but the elect, the 144,000, all right, they about to become the next kings uh, of the of the um, of the kingdom to come. All right. Hey, what did um, uh, Peter say? All right. Actually, I was shy. What shall we have there for? All right. So if we we continue to serve. Yeah, about smile shy. All right, the Lord is going to place crowns on you brothers' heads, okay? And, hey, man, that's why we got to keep keep this truth, man. All right, that's why we got to keep, all right, the main thing, the main thing, all right? And that's this truth. That's Sophia, man, okay? We got to continue to hold this tight, continue to, um, to, to, to be, a, continue to dive into this word, all right? Continue to do these lessons, continue to go out there, to the highways and byways, continue to read, okay? So um, let's go back here to Isaiah 1. And it's Isaiah 1 and 3. It says, The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master crib. All right, so the Lord, you know, he's saying that, hey, at least an ox, he know who his master is. Okay, a donkey know who his master is. It says, But Israel do not know, my people do not consider. Hey, and the ox, all right, it's not the uh, uh, ox and a donkey is not the smartest uh, animals, but they smarter than a lot of you, so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, all right, because why? Because at least they know who their owner is, all right? And a lot of our people, you know, they're in that spirit of being self-willed, all right, saying that they self-made, you know? You know? A lot of our people... All right, that's why the scripture says the same must know me after death by pain. So our people, they're going to know who their master is, but it's going to come through uh, suffering and torments. All right, it's going to come through nuclear fire. Okay, it says, um, verse 4, it says, Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are, are corruptors, they have forsaken the law of the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel into anger. They are all gone away backward. All right, man. And what's the book of Jeremiah says? Let's go here real quick. Jeremiah 6. Because yeah, we all fell away. Okay, which was, which was, in, which was uh, Bible prophecy. All right, but we in these last days now where the elect are waking up and they're returning back unto Yahweh Bashan al Shah. This is Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old path. All right, so we got to go back to the old path, the ways of our forefather, 
the ways of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right, the, the ways of Noah, all right, the ways of Moses, Joshua, and Aaron, all right, Yahweh, all these great men, all right, this is the way that we're supposed to walk. It says where it's a good way and walk therein, right, and there's only one good way, all right, you can't go about to establish your own righteousness, no, the Heavenly Father, he already declared what's good and what's evil, all right, and if you're not walking in the uh, in the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shai, if you're not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, all right, to the best of your ability, you're not walking in the way of the Heavenly Father. You're walking in the, in the way of the devil, which is the adversary. It says, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said we would not walk therein, all right? And that's the two thirds, all right? Hey, and that's why Zechariah 13 and eight, it says two parts are gonna be cut off and die. Let's get that real quick. This is Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Right, And the third is representing the elect, all right? the ones who have um, returned back unto Yahweh Shemel Shai, who acknowledge their offenses, all right? who's putting off the ways of, of uh, mortal all right? and put on immortality. All right, but everybody, you know, that wanted to follow after their own way, hey, guess what? Death and destruction is pending for you. So let's go back to Isaiah 1 and 4. Let's read that one more time. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers. All right, our people are laden with iniquity. All right, and we all are. Scripture says all of our righteousness is as is as on filthy rags. But you know what we doing? We trying to clean ourselves up to the best of our ability. All right, we we putting off, um, you know, eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. All right, we stop celebrating these pagan holidays. All right, we start uh, keeping the laws to the best of our ability. Okay, and and it's not about you know the law, the law, the law. All right, we established the law, all right, but the law is not what's going to save you. At the end of the day, what's going to save you? Your faith and ultimately Yahweh Shai, all right, because Yahweh Shai, he laid his life down on the cross to give uh, repentance unto the nation of Israel. But on this go around, his blood is only going to cover uh, the elect, all right. And it says, um, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the law. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel to anger. They are gone away backward. Right, man? We, we're supposed to be uh, uh, pressing towards the mark. All right? Not looking back. All right? Because look at Lot's wife. She looked back. She looked back into the world. What happened? Got turned to a pillar of salt. All right? So we got to keep pressing towards the mark. All right? Which is salvation. All right? Doing the Heavenly Father's uh, uh, work. All right? Being... Um, involved into this ministry, all right, making your body a living sacrifice. This is the only way, all right, any other way is death. Let's go to verse 5. It says, Why should ye be stricken anymore? So the Heavenly Father has whooped our ass from generation to generation, all right, decades and decades, all right, but the, the ass whoopings are not working. So, guess what? The Lord is about to destroy. All right, um, two thirds of our people with nuclear fire. All right, and they're gonna have to be uh, reborn through the loins of the elect in the kingdom. All right, that's that's what's about to happen. All right, and if you don't believe it, you're gonna be destroyed. All right, if you don't believe it, that means you don't have faith. All right, and faith that's a gift that's given from the Heavenly Father, Ephesians 2 and 8. All right, Luke 18 and 8. When your hour shall come, shall you find faith on the earth? All right, and faith is gonna, is gonna, um, be barren in these last days, but faith is going to remain with this elect. All right, it says ye will revolt more and more. Right, you're going to rebel more and more. All right, and that's why the nuclear destruction is necessary. It says the whole head is sick, the whole heart is faint. Right, the whole head is sick. All right, and who's the head tribe of the nation of Israel? Uh, the uh, the Judites. All right, the so-called African Americans. All right, from the so-called African Americans all the way down. To the uh, tribe of Issachar, it's, uh, everything is out of order. All right, the scripture says the whole foundation of the earth is out of course. All right, so the Heavenly Father, He's about to um, establish um, order in the earth. 
all right and you know before before you uh elevate you got to destroy all right it's something like a building all right we're not building all right the, the temple right now all right anybody outside of the temple is profane you know all right so let's close it out here going back to isaiah 1 and 6 it says for the whole but it's like it, for the sole of the feet even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and purifying sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified, mollified with ointment. All right. And those are the undesirables. All right. Those are the two thirds of the nation of Israel. All right. Which is going to be cut off here in America. All right. Because. All right. They, they're, they're too far gone. OK. It's like. Uh. You know, in Esau's uh, uh, medical system, all right, what they call it, um, uh, how do you, how you got to amputate the foot, all right, because if you don't amputate the foot, what's going to happen, that disease is going to spread to the whole body, all right, so two-thirds of our people going to have to be cut off, all right, and these up-and-coming uh, plagues, all right, and the nuclear destruction, all right, and the elect, all right, the one starting with the 144,000 and the one-third, all right, those are the ones who Yahweh Shai is going to save, all right? He says he's going to come with healing, all right, in his wings, all right? And we all need healing, okay? We need we need change from these vile bodies, all right, so we can be fashioned unlike unto Yahweh Shai's glorious body. You know, so with that, I'm going to close out by giving all praises and all honor and all glory unto my power, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Akhapodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well and that teach well. Also, want to say shalom to the 144,000 men that are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh Bashan al Shai. Also, want to say shalom to the innumerable multitude, which consists of the men, women, and children who Yahweh Bashan al Shai will show his mercy upon in these last days. And I'm the brother, Ike Gabar, from the GMS West Palm Beach camp. And Lord willing, this lesson.